I'm going to show you the bypass and solo buttons of a multiband compressor now, but the first thing we need to do is get rid of our single band compressor. So I'm going to close its control panel and then go to the first effect slot and select no effect. And then I'm going to hover over the I number two and drag that up so that our multiband compressor is first in the list. Now let me show you how to use the bypass and solo buttons of the multiband compressor. As I said before, a multiband compressor splits all of the frequencies from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz into four separate frequency ranges, which are typically known as bass, low mid, high mid, and high frequencies. So using the solo and the bypass buttons allow you to hear each of those frequency bands. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to press play on our project. And we do have some of the controls set, so the compressor is actually working, but not really hard right now. But if I go to the solo button of the low frequencies and depress that button, if you have full range speakers and you can hear these extremely low frequencies, you'll notice that that's all you hear. Because we have that band soloed, we're not hearing any of the other frequency bands. I'm going to turn up the output of my sound card here so that you can hear a little bit more of those frequencies. Can you hear just those bass frequencies? So I'm going to turn my sound card back down and I'm going to turn the solo button off. And then I'm going to solo the low mid frequencies. Now we can actually hear more of the instrumentation, but what are we actually hearing? Well, we're hearing some of the side stick sound. We're hearing some of the defining sounds of the bass guitar. And we're hearing some of that guitar too. Let's solo the next frequency band up. Well, things are getting kind of crispy in this band. We're hearing some of the hi-hats. We're hearing just kind of the pick of the guitar. And we're hearing some of the snap of that bass guitar. Let's unsolo that and listen to the high frequencies. Well, there's not a lot of energy there. We are hearing some of the very, very tip-top crispiness of those hi-hats and a little bit of that uh, bell. I think it's a triangle. So using the solo control on each of those bands allows you to hear what each individual compressor is doing. But it also does something else. It allows us to hear what instruments are in what frequency. Every instrument that you're going to be recording inside of Cubase has a frequency range. Whether it's a bass drum, or a guitar, or a violin, or the human voice, every one of those instruments is going to occupy a certain amount of space in that 20 to 20 kilohertz frequency range. Most instruments won't occupy the entire range, but they will occupy a certain segment of the frequencies. So using these solo buttons allows you to go in and listen to each band. And I love that because it allows you to set the compressor for a specific range of instrumentation. Now what do I mean when I say frequency range or bandwidth? Well, we're going to learn about that in the next video.